Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, I am actually on this bean planter, Kinsey 2600, and I've got my grease gun. I've actually already started. And, um, well, let me show you right quick. Get back out from underneath it. It's a 31 row. Well, it's a 1631 split row. Like I think I said, said in a previous video I did on this thing when I was working on one of those press wheels right there. Uh, it's it, it, it can be a 16 row, 30 inch spacing. And um, yeah, let me get my light here. You can see these locks right here. If you take these tabs, well, that one's kind of stuck. Oh, there we go. Flip, flip it up like that. Push this row unit up, and it'll sit underneath that block, and it'll lock that up. And it it's it that um, it takes this unit out of the ground. The front units, they're all set up like that. You can raise them up out of the ground, and have it to be a 16 row, 30 inch row spacing corn planter. And or you keep this down all the time, like that. And all 31 rows are in the ground, and it's uh, 31 row, 15 inch, because you can see back there's a row, this one here, this row here runs in between those two back rows, which makes a 15 inch. And um, this one here is actually a, a, be a bean planter only, because we already have a corn planter. And once I get the corn planter dug out of the opposite corner of the shed, I can um, do a video on that. But on this one here, greasing it up, basically what I do is I start on either end of it, don't matter. And then I come across for these, uh, any of these no-till coders that have a grease circ, I grease them up. Put y'all back into my official camera holder, AKA my Carhartt pocket. Now I can use both hands. So I'll go across the front and then let me get back up underneath here with my light. That way I can halfway see. Get my trusty rusty grease gun. And I don't know how well you can see that. And I go across greasing up the back of the front row. And so I basically do four passes across this planter with the grease gun. Across the front and across the back of the front rows. And I turn around and I do the same thing across the front and across the back of the back rows. And so this thing's got a lot of grease work. Let me tell you something, having an electric grease gun makes it nice. Thankfully, none of the grease shirts are really all that dirty, so I don't even bother I don't even bother cleaning them off. I heard air go through that time. Let's check the gun. No, oh, we still got grease in it. Now, one thing that I will be doing this time as I go across um i'm going to go halfway normally when i have it outside and or when i have it sitting right in the middle of the shed what i'll do is um, i'll go clear across from one end to the other well with it being folded up as you can see right there you got to work around these wheels and that kind of stuff so i'm going to change things up a little bit here in the shed I'm gonna go down here to the middle, right there where that big post is, with the planter. That, that's what the planter actually raises up on top of to do the quarter turn to, for transport. 
um, and then I'll come back across the front of the back rows. After a while, crouching down underneath this thing gets rough on the back. Whereas when I have it hooked onto the tractor, I can raise it up. No, it'll raise up about six inches higher. That does help a little bit. Okay, we're halfway across in the front. Now I'm going to turn around. And since I'm going to do a complete grease up, I am going to hit this big pivot right down here. Give it a few shots. Ah, that should do. In fact, actually, well, let me see here. Put the grease gun there on the tire. I'll run, run and grab my light. There we go. Now I can see better. Back when we got this planter back in 2014, this uh, big piece right here, that big blue piece, that's actually the housing that uh, the end of this big post sits down in there. It's got two big bearings. It kind of looks like a wheel hub, basically. But um, uh, this big housing that um, uh, that big hub goes into had actually cracked right around the back of it. It was like that when we bought it. And um, the dealership knew about it. And so they compensated us for it. And, but um, we had to go through uh, the New Holland dealer, which is also a Kinsey dealer, by the way, and um, get a new big cast piece like that. And it took some work, but we got that put in there. And so far, we've never ha had any more trouble with it. And so that's got that big pivot greased. Now we'll go back across on the back roads. And like I've said before on this planter, a lot of these, as I have to put new um, uh, bearings into them, I put sealed. And so I take the grease circ out. That right there, there's no grease circ. And same way on that one, no grease circ. It just makes greasing up a lot faster. And let's see here, that one right there, no grease circ. And so while I'm underneath here, I'm guessing, now I'll try to hold my phone a little bit better. This right here is where the, the frame pivots. It's got two of them, two of them on each side of this big post. You got, you got this pivot here and you got a pivot on the other side and that allows the frame to, fl the frame to flex up and down each, each half. the grease dripping out on that one try and catch that and put it right over there onto a gauge wheel it'll run off out in the field and be gone okay hopefully you were able to see that halfway decent and this right here this little roller that the outside part of that turns like that that is what um there's two of these one on each side
like I say, we actually bought this planter in 2014. And the price we paid for it, we could turn around and easily sell it for that, if not more. Because long about, i going to try and find my grease rag. Long about um, March or so, I think it was, of, two, of 2021, the price of farm machinery literally started going through the roof. And the same goes that uh, John Deere 4840 right, right there. We bought that in December of 2020. And it was probably about three months after that, that used, used and even new equipment prices literally start, started going crazy, just skyrocketing. Okay, now back to this little roller right here that I just greased up. I can try and show you here. Set my grease gun down. Well, I can see it's got two of these, one here, and let's see, one right there. You can see it hanging down right there. You can see the bolt head. Anyway, when the planter turns that quarter turn, each one of these rollers, okay, I think you can see it right there. There's a track right there. The roller on this side, and there's one on that side over there, over there on the outside of the, side of the subframe. Those rollers go down in that track. And um, when the planter is in um, a field mode, those rollers right in that. And that is, um, the planter is actually pulled, actually pulls, um, the, yeah, let's see here, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, the planter is actually pulled from those rollers. The pole is not being pulled through this big post. The post is not taking the pole of the planter. That, 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 that'd break it. The pole is actually going through those rollers. And so um, uh, that's, why you, that, that's why as you, you raise the planter up and down, they just roll up and down inside that track. But when the planter drops all the way down, it'll sit almost down on top of this subframe right here. And um, like I say, the, the, the pull of the planter is then taken on by those two big rollers, and that's what pu pulls the planter along as you pull on, the, as the tractor pulls on this subframe right here, those rollers are what's pulling the, the mainframe up, up top. And so, definitely, it's definitely a neat concept that uh, McKinsey has. And, um, uh, let's see here. Uh, case, they have something similar to it. Not exactly, but it, it's something similar, similar that they, they stand up and they turn. It's just a little different design. Okay, we're all greased there. That one's a seal bearing. That right there does have a grease circ. And even the ones that have a greaser, sometimes they still don't want to take grease. And that's why I prefer seal bearing. Let's see if this one here will. Nope, it just pushes right around the greaser. Okay, that one's got a seal bearing. That one's got a seal bearing. And that one's got a seal bearing. Good. Okay. I'll well, get down here on this end. Show you the wheels. And these here are the wing wheels. Like I say, once you trip it into uh, field mode, these wing wheels, it's got two on each end, are then activated. And there's a grease circ there. And there. Tires are great grease rags. You can wipe your fingers off and they self clean. And then the same way out here on this outside wheel. Okay, I'm guessing y'all can probably see that. Got one here. And one here. Okay. 
And then I actually got one clear up here above my head. That is the marker, the bottom of it. Kind of hard to show on camera because I'm working, I'm working right over top of my head. Maybe I can take you out of my pocket and show you that way. Oh, let's see here. There we are. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's the bottom of the marker fold. Where the bottom part of it folds up right there. You can see out here on the end, it's got that hydraulic cylinder. It's got this little short piece here that comes up. Up on top there is another grease circ with that pivot. And then you got the main boom going clear across to where it lays across the top of the planter. Which is actually something big that Kinsey's been into is a big flat fold type of marker. Now, there are newer planters where they have um, uh, big commodity boxes or what they call a central fill where your seed, either beans or, beans or corn, is all held in two big plastic or fiber, fiberglass hoppers that sit right in the middle of the planter. In that case, they will actually take and put like a double joint in the auger, and it'll be a break about right, about right there where that um, support is, and um, instead of the marker laying clear across, it'll actually fold back, and so it'll go up here, go over, then back across. And so that shortens it up because of the big commodity boxes sitting in the middle. So anyway, that's greasing up the, up the Kinsey planter. Once I get to the, to the other side over there, it'll be, be the same thing. But I think that should pretty much have, it, have everything. Like I say, the, the other side is, is, is the exact same setup. So yeah, that's a good spot to end this video, and so we'll talk to you again sometime. Take care.